kicked him in the fan. He's a keeper, he just fought. No. No, I don't keep fit bass. I'm, I throw them back. I don't eat fish. Well, not bass. Now, if it's a good eating catfish, like a channel cat or something. He by, why can he hold on to it? But yet, there's not any hooks in the mouth, man. I don't want a big old treble hook in my freaking. Now that's a spotted bass right there. Spotted bass or a Kentucky. one right here. Now why is he, as little as he is, can eat it with them big ones can That's a good one too, actually. It's a small mouth, I think. Gotta be 15 inches here.
What's up guys? I just kind of wanted to give a recap of my day and talk about just a little bit what I did. So I was fishing a Highland Reservoir. So usually that means deep and clear. And it was definitely clear, but I got kind of lucky because I am fishing end of August, early September and dog days of summer. So I got kind of lucky. I had an overcast day. It was kind of raining and stuff. And I knew in the middle of the day that it was going to be sunny, you know, blue bird skies, clouds go away. So the first of my day, and I have noticed actually, before I talk about what lures I was using, the, I have noticed into August, early September, or all through September, I've noticed that fish, and with my experience with the reser Highland Reservoirs close to my house, that, but I have noticed that the fish will chase shad, the bass will chase shad, but it's generally deep. So something like a deep swim bait or a crank bait or something usually does pretty good. But I have noticed too, especially this year, that I could use top water early in the morning and go fairly shallow. Pretty much the same places you'd go deep, but it's more shallow, just more shallow, closer to the bank. Or because where I fish, you can still fish the bank a lot, just fish steeper banks. But I was using a waffer plopper in the morning when it was still kind of raining and overcast, and I like to use a translucent, just a shad color, because deep clear water or clear water in general, not don't have to be deep. But you want to use something natural, especially crankbaits and stuff, translucent. I was using just a standard thread fin shad, and that's what my forge is. So match the hatch, whopper whopper. So when the sun came up, I started thinking, well, clouds went away, the moving bite's gone. So what I do, pulled out this football jig, Zaro half ounce football jig, and it's got a paired with a cream lure ST crawl. My favorite trailer and my favorite crawl of all time. But uh, I started hitting these, start fishing these bluffs, kind of just dragging it off and caught one smallmouth on it. So, and a transition on a bluff too, so as you've seen. But yeah, it's pretty much, and then I caught a few on a crankbait, but I don't think the crankbait bite's there yet. Not right now at least, but, and they were small anyways. But if I had to recap my day as far as what I wish I'd have done, I think I, if it was up to him, I think what I should have done actually is I should have stayed, try to stay deeper, even though it's still, or even though the bass were up shallow and everything, some of them were, I didn't have the size that I really needed to, if I was gonna fish a tournament or practice for a tournament or something. So I still would have thrown top water, but just throw it more on the bluffs and stuff instead of going really shallow in the creeks or whatever. So. And then I would have dragged this probably a little bit more too and got me a little bit quality, more quality bites. But I just kind of want to recap my day and like and subscribe, comment on the channel. Soon I am fixing to make more videos and hopefully we'll get after.